Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, welcome to my first eye video. Uh, this video we're going to be looking at how to grow out brickwork. Now I've made this as my little platform. Uh, you can call it an outhouse or a lean-to, whatever you would like to call it. I'm quite happy. Uh, I've made it all up of oddments. All the brickwork is made up with uh, like end of project bricks. As you can see, they're all different shapes, colours, and sizes. Uh, the little platform that I've actually made. It's going to be used on other things as well, uh, guttering, uh, tiling and other bits and pieces that uh, I'd like to show you. Now, like I say, it's just a box made from 3mm uh, foam board. I've put some floor joists in and some uh, roof joists. Uh, I've actually covered it with the brick. I've done very, very little weathering on it only on the joists inside if I bring you a little bit closer hopefully the camera will play I've just done a little bit of weathering on the inside there just to uh, because I know I won't be able to get to that to do anything to it later on so that is what we're going to be using now I'm going to switch the camera off and we'll have a look at what materials you need to actually start grating up with Okay, a quick look at what you actually need to do your grating up. Now I use aluminium oxide, uh, 220 grit this is, and those, for those who don't know what aluminium oxide is, this is a cutting and polish polishing medium uh, used in shot blasters and things like that. Now you buy this, I got this off eBay, it's about £6 for 400 grams. So it's not too expensive, but not mega cheap. And to be honest with you, I bought a pack of this. I've built some dioramas because that's the reason, a reason I bought it to start off with was to do some sand on a diorama. And I'm still using it now uh, to grout up uh, my brickwork. And I've got still got loads of it left. So it does go a long, long way. The second thing we need is pigment fix. I use AK, it was what I had to hand when I started doing it. But I do find the AK stuff is very good. It does seal the brickwork as well and it leaves it ready for your uh, weathering and bits and pieces like that. So they're your main two ingredients and also what you need is a couple of brushes nice dry ones that you can actually spread things around with and that's it that's all you need so I'm going to reposition the camera and uh, I'll show you how I do it okay I've actually got it lead flat on a piece of paper the piece of paper is just to collect up what we sweep off as you can see it's just lead flat and all we do is we get our aluminium oxide and we just sprinkle it over. It is as simple as that. But we put plenty on. Then we use the brush. Just excuse me because I'm doing this uh, left handed and I'm a right handed person so it probably end up being a bit messy. I shall have to come that way. Just push it all into the gaps sometimes you actually find that what happens is that you've got a hole and it runs right the way through and no matter how much of it you put on it just keeps running through the hole like there and there but don't panic about it because I always leave them because when you finish your brickwork they look more what they should be natural so we just gently sweep all this off making sure you don't sweep it all off and take it all out of the joints like 
like so. And you've roughly got all the joints uh, filled except for these bottom ones, which I don't normally bother uh, because I always try and set my dive armors down. But you can, once you've pigment, pigment fixed it, you can actually come along again and just drop a little bit more in. And the same with these holes, if you're not happy with these holes, once you put some pigment fix on it, it blocks the hole up and then you can just put a little bit more in and brush it off. So I shall just stop the camera for a second and I shall get my pigment fix. Sorry about that, I realise I never got a paintbrush out to actually use to put for the pigment fix. It's just a matter of getting your pigment fix and dobbing it on. There's no big mystery on it. I am thinking about trying to use uh, a matte varnish and probably thin the matte varnish down because this AK pigment fix is quite expensive. It's about four pound, uh, nearly five pound actually, for a uh, container of it. It does go a long way, but I'm always looking for uh, a cheaper alternative uh, to doing this sort of thing. As they say, look after the pennies and the pound look after themselves. So we'll just go all the way through with that. And that's it then we just leave it to dry which uh, I'll leave that to dry and we'll come back in a, a few seconds well actually I mean if you if you wanted to do the other side you can turn that over that's not going to fall out uh, that stays in quite happily so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this side as well sorry about that it's getting when the camera decides to focus again there we go. I'm going to uh, grab this side up and the other side up and then we'll come back and have a little look because like I say I'm going to use this for demonstration purposes all the time so I might as well get the whole lot grouted up. Right I've grouted up the sides. Now I've been looking I'm not at all happy with this bit down here. Uh, probably because I've used all bits and pieces out of my scrap box uh, by the look of it it's quite damaged so I might be uh, doing a little video we might just do a little cut out there and put a doorway in that'll be on another video but I'm not too happy about that bit uh, the rest of it's okay as you can see it's blended in quite well because all the bricks the same same colorish and it's just that little bit there so uh, that will be on another video. Going around to the side here, now I really do like this side bit because it's really got that feel of uh, uh, virtually falling down, which I do like. So I'm quite happy with that and the little hole in the bottom, uh, that's another, it was just a brick that was missing. And I think this bit here I can actually we can actually do something with that weather that down and uh, make this corner look a bit more broken down as well but that will be on other videos we'll do it a bit at a time so that's how it stands now uh, the next video I'm going to do is we're going to cut a hole in the front here I think and put a make a door and put a door in and then we'll move on to the guttering and some tiling and other bits and pieces downpipe and and I think what I'm going to do as it's sort of interested me that much uh, as we've got a little base I think we'll make this a little project diorama and we'll just run through bits and pieces on it a bit at a time so thank you very much for joining me I hope 
uh, it's helped just how to do the grouting up. Uh, if there's anything you want me to do or show you, please leave it in the comment box. Uh, I'm more than happy to try and help in whatever way. And uh, like I say, thank you very much for joining me on this one and we'll see you on the next.